Welcome back, franchise family, to week 10. Well, momentarily week 10, because I have to have bye this week. And I didn't want to dedicate the whole episode just to a bye week. So, just going to show you guys, just did an upgrade to Lamar Jackson. Strong arm, trying to get him. Oh, man, that's that's kind of crappy. Trying to get him in line with the scheme, get him strong arm, and then switch, and then, uh, you know, level to other things. So, let's get right into week 11, where the real action is. We have a marquee matchup this week versus the 7-2 uh, 49ers. And really, I think, actually, he's really the undefeated. I think two of his losses were actually sim uh sim losses there that he just couldn't schedule the game so really is the undefeated 49ers they've been just running through the league it was a new uh new coach that just joined this year um and one thing i really don't take a look at or really talk will not talk about on here with you guys is like the kind of scouting that i do really um going into games and a lot of times you guys are saying like i see the comments like oh get some competition or you're not playing anybody a lot of times you know guys you know can look like that because they don't realize that i do scout them and even in uh, marquee matchups like this versus good players um being that we stream all our games i actually kind of scout and go in and take a look at you know what they're doing and that that helps tremendously in the game because a lot of times in the game it takes a quarter or two to really see what your opponent is doing even more so longer in a sim league where guys aren't running the same place over and over again um you know it takes a little bit to catch on but if you watch tape and you watch two games and the guys of course most likely they're using the same playbook uh you know i switch my playbook all the time the average person using the same playbook and they kind of have the same plays so you get in the game and you see that type of formation that they like to do and you know what's coming you know what they like to do out of that so that's one thing i definitely do that i really don't like show you know really share the channel you know take a look at their team um who's leading uh you know on their team and you know what what type of team are there like even if i didn't have the uh the actual tape that i can go back and take a look just looking and seeing you know how, how their team ranks like are they a a pass team are they a heavy run team are they a balanced team um you know it looks like from the if i can see from the niners they seem like a balanced team that very balanced they have good rushing yards good passing yards um and just take a look at their you know the defense in the same way it just seems like a really solid all-around team when it comes to uh offense and defense yeah see they're up there in passing um uh, looks like seem like they're a little bit susceptible to the run yeah so so definitely you can see you know they're a little, little, little lower and they're good against the pass a little more susceptible to the run have a good fair amount of interceptions a uh, fair amount of sacks uh, but then you can look and see so you, you take that and you go okay so you know they seem like they're giving up some some rushing yards like how how exactly are they giving the rushing yards you know they they seem to be strong against the pass but let's see as far as their uh their run defense you know what what is causing them to give up yards on the ground so let's go and take a look so you can see that they're you know yeah 90 block shed from an end 75 block shed so their their ends aren't very great against the run but then let's take a look at the their d tackle the force buckner is and armstead is actually solid as well so you know maybe you know it's not a team to attack up the middle let's see they have tj edwards who's really good on the left outside linebacker of course ruben foster is a monster in the middle and uh and malcolm smith so malcolm smith seems to be the weak point here the right outside linebacker so running left uh some counters some weak side runs uh some dives that you cut back peel back to the side that's something that i would target and their their pass defense is really good uh richard sherman uh is is of course a good cornerback ward is not great but you know has some good measurables there as well as uh witherspoon and then their safeties are really good 80 overall but he's got 93 speed 95 acceleration so that dude moves but even though his zone coverage is not that great especially if he uses him which i've seen from tape he you know he really gets around with this guy he's adrian cobra is blazing and their strong safety is really good 85 overall night so they have two blazing safeties so they really cover a ton of ground in 87 zone coverage there and then he uses the other guy who's nice so that, that's really what the pass D is coming from because the corners are just okay not great outside of sherman it's really coming from those safeties he's doing a lot of work with those safeties i don't see a high amount of interceptions from Rupert foster i don't believe he's using the 
you usually in the middle linebacker like most uh, would, um, especially with a pretty athletic linebacker like that. So that's kind of how I look, and then I, you know, I, I take that and use that to formulate my game plan. So I will actually go in and take a look. And, uh, you know, my weekly training, I will base that upon, you know, am I going to run inside more? Am I going to run outside more? So I would, you know, use that to decide if I'm going to do, uh, you know, if I'm going to do the, the uh, inside zone or outside zone power trap, depending on what I'm going to run uh, there. So it looks like, uh, you know, I might go inside zone this week just based upon the fact that, uh, you know, they have one good uh, DT. But I think I can do, kind of run inside zones and, and kind of hit that outside or or back where I might do outside zone and just attack and attack the left side of the field. So you know maybe it's something you know things that I kind of look at and that's how I formulate my game plan. So just a little bit you know something a little different just you know chat with you guys on the strategy side of things. But uh, looking forward to getting into this game. Uh, actually have some players to negotiate there. Let's do this real quick. Uh, Ricard definitely want to bring him back. He's a solid fullback. Uh, how old is he? 25. Let's throw a year on there. Throw some cash at him. Hopefully he accepts that. Four years should be good. All right. He's in there. Keep building him up. Good young fullback. Sneed, man. This guy. I swear. Like I would when I when I first got this team, I was he was definitely somebody who I planned not to resign. But I don't. What his his rating? He just plays so much. Like you guys seen the episodes. Like. You've seen him make some amazing plays. I don't know how, like, you know, there, there was like a sleepers list, like, of overlooked players. He would definitely make the list because he just plays so much better than his rating. Like, he has decent catch, you know, and nothing stands out by, by him besides his acceleration. But whatever, I mean, this dude just balls, man. Like, I saw, I probably wasn't planning on signing him back, but he's just been so good, um... And so let's just do a let's do a four year man let's do a four year let's reward him with a good contract just because he's made so many big plays for the team. Uh, hopefully he signs this. Let's see there. He signs this. All right, so we got Snead locked up. I'm really gonna decide on what I do with Dixon. Uh, the backfield's getting a little bit crowded. Let me know uh, what you guys think about uh, Dixon in the comments below. If I should. Uh, pause if I should uh, keep him or let him go the backfield is crowded with the new rookie running back even though he's hurt right now once you get his injury up uh, I think Dixon will be the odd man out so let me know if I should bring him back or kind of just let him go uh, in the free agency and that's pretty much it for this so I'm not gonna go Chris Moore I'm gonna resign Alex Lewis not undecided on BAM so there's no real pressing really free agents this year that I have to really worry about um, worry about resigning so we're, we're pretty good with that so um, let's see. Let's get right into that game versus the Niners. Hopefully, it's a good one. Hope you guys enjoy. And this is a major week versus the Niners. One of the best teams in the league. Can the Ravens continue their tear? They've been really great on both sides of the ball. Defensively shutting opponents down. Offensively, more of a struggle, but Lamar Jackson has been coming into his own more and more as the season progresses. As they start off right up the middle to Collins, their marquee back. What a great elusive runner he's been all season long. Second and six. Collins again, but the Niners defense stepping up and shutting it down, bringing Lamar Jackson to a third and long. Dropping back on the run, and nice catch by Hurst. His big tight end comes down with it and back to the ground game to Alice Collins. Lamar Jackson has been better on third downs this season, and he has to be on second and 12. Dropping deep, and that is intercepted by Richard Sherman, one of the top corners in the league. Looks like he's got a lane. He's to the 20, the 10. Montgomery, the last man, he gets him at the four-yard line. That tackle can be huge there. Looked like Sherman had a lane, but he's just not as fast as he used to be in his days in Seattle. A little step slower, and that step might have cost him a pick six. Third and six, and a flag on the play as Garoppolo does not get the offense to the line in time. Back him up to the nine-yard line. Big mistake there. Scrambles. Garoppolo tries to get it. He fumbles. It's on the ground. It's a pile-up. We don't know who has it, and the Niners get it back. That is huge, so they're able to kick the field goal and go up by three. 
and the ball goes back to Baltimore. Lamar Jackson turning it over last time, and he's rolling out now, has pressure on him. What a throw and catch, John Brown. Did you see Lamar Jackson just evade the defender, throws an absolute dime 40 yards downfield, and a pitch out to Collins. He has a lane, and he is going to go. Don't think he's going to get caught. Touchdown, Ravens, just like that. They strike right back as Alice Collins just walks his way through and in the end zone for a touchdown. And with the pitch out, makes a man miss. Oh, another one. Good running game of McKinnon there. The Niners have a dual backfield with Scarborough and McKinnon. And the Scarborough, he bounces out to the outside. One man, oh, and just trucks Jimmy Smith. Down the sideline, the Alabama prospect is doing something he's never done, even in the in college. Looks like a huge 60-yard run there for a touchdown. The Niners are up, and this is one of the better games of the year so far. Back to Alice Collins. He sees the cutback lane, but that's quickly closed. Lamar Jackson with a deep drop back. He's looking downfield. What a throw. The Crabtree pulls it down on the post. First and 10, Collins gets it again. Looks like it might be a hold on the play, and that's going to push him back. The first and 20, Jackson with another deep drop. He's waiting, has all time. All the time in the world, completes the pass and goes in for a touchdown. What a throw and clash to his backup tight end, Walker. And the Niners get the ball back. They're looking to strike back, and look at that speed there. Nice quick pass out with Garoppolo. Only throwing two passes today. They're mostly focused on the running game. Has all day on the throw. Good coverage closing in on there. Brings up a second and four. Garoppolo is back again. Has thoughts he has all day, but goes down on the sack. Third and 17. Pushed him all the way back. Almost out of field goal range. Garoppolo goes again. This time looks like a coverage sack by Tim Williams. And then forced to punt the ball back to Baltimore. And Collins had a lane, but it closed pretty quickly. The Niners defense, one of the better ones in the league. And they're showing that today. Besides giving a few big plays, they've been great. Speaking of big play, back to Hurst with the strike. Got one man to beat. He jukes him out of his shoes. Does he have the speed to carry? Man, he just falls short. All the way down to the two-yard line. Huge completion by Baltimore. Right in with the fullback. For a touchdown, 21 to 10. Huge turnaround there. And the Niners have played great today, but they've given up those huge plays by Baltimore, which has hurt them. Garoppolo rolling out, dumps it off. Underneath looks like the Kittle there. Gives him a third and two up the middle. Scarborough, look at that big man rumble. You cannot bring him down with one tackler. Garoppolo is back over the middle. Oh, wow, thought that was going to be a pick. He threaded the needle, got that right in there, snuck that into the back, out of the backfield. And then continue to march downfield. And look at that, Tim Williams. Oh, that's Simon. It's actually the backup in Simon came across and takes him down for the sack. To the corner route. It looks like there's a penalty on the play. And we have, oh, P.I. against... P.I. there, and, and that, that really looked really bad. I, I, I thought that was a terrible call. Uh, Tavon looked like he had good position. I think the refs blew the whistle a little bit early on that one. But they do. The Niners do get three out of that. 21-13. to 13, Great game so far. As the Niners are pushing Baltimore, they've uh, really only scored on two huge plays there. And they're back to the ground game. And look at San Fran. And he is gone are you kidding me nice moves in the hole on the counter goes in for the long touchdown Jared McKinnon again him and Scarborough have had huge runs the Niners are gonna go for two to see if they can tie it up the running game for the Niners has been as expected let's see if they get this two-point conversion though and it's batted down at the line like I said, they've been they've been playing great. They can just limit the, the big plays from Baltimore. The Niners have a chance to, to uh, run away with this, this victory here because it's, it's still a close, tight game. 
Jackson's dropped back again. He's scrambling out and is just taken down. Had an open lane. Buckner got him on the sack. Third and long. The blitz is coming. Jackson gets it off. The Crabtree breaks the tackle. Only Richard Sherman left. And we know Sherman doesn't have much in the tank to get him. Crabtree crit walks into the end zone for a touchdown. 21 to 19. Another huge play by Baltimore. Garoppolo threading the needle on first down. Has a man. And nice touch pass there. Pulled it in. Garoppolo has been very good so far today. This needs not to make that big mistake. And that's a terrible pass. It looks like we may have a holding on the call. And we do is coming back. Bad throw by Garoppolo. Looks like the Ravens may be bringing some pressure on this one. And they do. They're sending pressure. Interception. Tavon Young with the pick. Garoppolo has not made a huge, any really terrible mistake so far today, but that was a big one. They sent the pressure. The pass was just slightly off mark, which led to the interception. Ravens had the ball back. Lamar Jackson pump faking. He's rolling out, pointing his man downfield. He goes. It's to John Brown. The speedy wide receiver just my own knocked out. At the five-yard line, you've seen the afterburners turn on. Lamar Jackson goes in for the quarterback sneak. And they're going for two. Up 34 to 19 already. Let's see what they have in mind for the two-point conversion. Jackson back. Nice play there. Gets the two-point conversion. 36 to 19. Can the Niners move the ball, get a score, get back into this? The running man has been great, and he has a big run here. Ooh, just taken down McKinnon. Looked like he was going to make that guy miss as well, but he doesn't. He's dropping back. Has all day to throw the pass and breaks a tackle. Garoppolo. Scarborough. And they're in. The Niners will not give up or be denied. Down by 10. The pressure's on Lamar Jackson, and he takes a hit. Brings up third down. Ravens play it safe and hand off to Collins. They're going to rely on the defense. Punt the ball there. They're going to they're gonna make the Niners work down the field. You know, they, they've scored 26 points, but mostly it's been off two big runs. And the Niners that consistently driven down the field to get points. So Baltimore's going to rely on that stingy defense to lead them in this one. First and 10. He's dropping back. Hits the, hits the receiver. I don't even mix it. Makes a man miss. Nice throw there by Garoppolo. Just not forcing it. Taking what he gives him. But the pressure is on on this one. Stoltenberg takes him down. The rookie defensive tackle. A coverage sack. Takes the third and 21. Hits the receiver over the middle. And he looks like he just might be short. He is short. They're going with the hurry up. Fourth and inches. Will they run the ball in this situation? And they do. And they pick it up. Just barely getting the yard on the play. Niners looking to, to get this one closer as Garoppolo... It's another receiver on the sideline. He has been very accurate besides a few plays today. But this third down is as big as any of them. Garoppolo's back. Has time. No one open at all. And no pressure. And he picked off. It is picked off by C.J. Mosley. He has Garoppolo to beat. And he just takes him down there. Of course, who else would it be? But CJ, CJ saves the day again. Picks off a pass. He always makes big plays when the Ravens need him. And he does it yet again. What a great, fun, exciting game there. The Niners were, were as expected. That ground game, 193 yards rushing. Baltimore had not even given up 100 before that. So that was they def their running game, which is those huge, huge plays. Big plays by them. Even they passed the ball effectively, but Lamar Jackson threw it in a f almost 350 on that. Only a few completions. Pretty impressive. Alice Collins 
John Brown, they spread it around Hurst. A lot of, lot of big plays from Baltimore there. C.J. Mosley leading the way. Interception, 11 total tackles, two for a loss. Williams with three sacks. Stoltenberg with two. Even John Simon got into the mix. Great team win by Baltimore on both sides of the ball versus a tough opponent. So that is it for this week's game. Let's get into some upgrades there. You know, the backup. Backups need love, too. Some block shed, play wreck, a little awareness. Okay. Again, you always got to develop your backups, man. Especially in franchise mode where the injury is pretty high, even though we have ours at 20. Um, you still got to have good quality backups. The Stoltenberg has been developing. Um, took him in the draft, and he's been really good so far. Uh, I want to bring him along, eventually make him a primary starter. Good run. Build up his run stop and then go for a uh, pass rush later because that's his primary thing. I need those DT stop in the middle up there. So that is it for this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. We'll catch you here next week. Gonna be it's gonna try to come out with them more often. So let me know in the comments you think about this below. Hope you enjoy it. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn the notifications on so you don't miss more of the Mad 19 franchise series here on SGO. It's the natural. I'm out.